Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see it is shot with a different camera I borrowed a small uh, with camcorder for this video review so I hope the quality will be still fine and as you can see here we have the Brain Gun 170 second scale aircraft kit it copies Messerschmitt P1103 it's quite an unusual type and you can see it on the box art and in my opinion on a small scale it will be an interesting build to assemble so that's why we have this commercial sample it means you will get exactly the same stuff uh, what you will see in this box so first of all box size is not that big here you can see comparison with my hand as I said box art is more or less nice in my opinion then here we have some information about this kit some safety devices on the rear side we have also marking guide it should be actually like this so as you can see there are three marking options and that's pretty much all. So let's open it and take a look inside in order to see what do we have here. So first of all we have this and then we have also the... Why well, I'm a bit confused because we have also masks included. I had them before but these ones are designed for 48 scale, those ones are the ones we need, it's a 170 second scale set and they will be sold as a separate set so we will take a look at them a bit later now I would like to focus on this um, plastic bag so let's open it just give me a second to find where do we have the flap because it's a reopenable plastic bag in the meantime let me remind you that uh, you can help us get the new camera because as you remember the old one broke and now we have to um, borrow and rent cameras in order to shoot at least something because not shooting at all is not an option here and you can just press the donate button on our website and it is done via PayPal as I said many times before so you will be the one who decide how much we will get for the new camera so first of all here we have the plastic spruce, we have also assembly manual and we also have the decal sheet, obviously we will check this a bit later I would like to start with the plastic sprue, so let's focus a bit closer, now you should be able to see it so here we have two fuselage halves, we also have wing parts, the tail section parts, some minor elements for the cockpit and also let's flip it over, here inside we have minor cockpit detailing and know that there are no guiding pins the same can be said about the wing parts so you have to be careful while assembling all this stuff together nevertheless let's zoom in even more so that we can check all this stuff closer maybe camera will be able to focus, maybe not let's try to refocus again now it should be better Okay. So first of all, fuselage half. As you can see, we have recessed panel lines. We even have them, um, some hatches copied on this part. The same can be said about another fuselage half. And note that this left um, fuselage half it is molded together with a tail fin. As you can see, it is molded from both sides, so it will serve as a guiding element. And again, I'm showing that we have minor cockpit detailing which will be barely visible, even though this is a 170 second scale kit, still it is a small model and here you can see the same detailing in the cockpit area in the right half then here quite interesting joint area on the wing part, of course wing is molded as one piece element but you will have to be careful while installing it on the fuselage because it's uh, actually the part of the fuselage as you can see here we have the top area molded without it so it will be replicated with help of this wing next we have here the pilot seat which is molded as a one piece part then we have the cockpit floor and the dashboard this look quite okay especially for 170 second scale and then we have separately molded tail wings here is one and here is another one those will have to be installed into the special slots but it is quite interesting because as you can see here we don't have any I mean here we do have the recessed slot but here we don't have any tabs which will help you with guiding this part into the right spot so I'm a bit confused why there are actually those cutouts even though they won't be used on the final version 
otherwise molding quality is really clean we can go over the sprue once again so you won't find any flesh on this part and that's really cool in my opinion because it will make assembly process a bit easier I hope but otherwise as you can see we also have here one piece landing gear wheels and with this you will have to be careful as far as I remember masks do not concern uh, the wheels they will be used only for the canopy so you will have to be careful while painting this part okay next we have one and only clear plastic sprue as you remember it wasn't packed into any uh, separate plastic bag so again you have to be careful with this part and if you have a possibility to check it before with the purchase I would rather do it in order not to get the scratch part out of the box but otherwise as you can see molding quality is really cool and as I said masks will be sold separately so I would rather suggest to get them straight away because as you can see that's a quite complex shaped part so it's easier to have some pre-cut masks to use without any necessity to go for cutting masks template for such shape next we have the decals sheet and here we have all necessary symbols for three marking options as you remember we also have the swastika which should be assembled out of separate sections and printing quality looks more or less fine in my opinion so I think you won't have any problems with this and it should be relatively easy to apply them on the model as far as I remember um, the brain gun models which I built they had quite nice decals and they were a pleasure to work with now let's zoom out a bit we have here the assembly manual this one is printed in form of black and white brochure I will zoom out even more now you should be able to see it in a full scale so here we have the parts map straight away down on the first page there is no history note whatsoever in the same picture as on the box art Note that paint numbers are given like this in the simple designations. They do not have any attachment to any of the existing brands. Well, at least we have the ROM numbers. This might be useful uh, for picking the right shade in your favorite manufacturer, paint manufacturer brand. Next, we have the assembly process. So, assembly process starts with cockpit, as you can see. So, I would like to zoom in a bit so that you can see this section first and cockpit will be relatively detailed in my opinion of course nobody stops you from using some leftover P parts in order to add them here and get a bit more realistic appearance but even this detailing is really cool when you consider that the model will be approximately 5 centimeters long and still bring and manage to include some parts here you can see the dashboard assembly process together with the target side and as far as you can understand, target site will be replicated with grey plastic part, which is not that great, but we have what we have. Let's check it here. Where was the target site? Yes, part number 8. As you can see, that's a grey plastic part. So be ready for this. Maybe you can, let's say, replace it with some clear element. Maybe you can replicate it with a chrome paint. It will be up to you. Here we assembled the special towing card. It will be installed on the bottom of the airplane, but there is a small hint which you will see further in this video review. Next we go with the cockpit installation into the fuselage half. Note that first manufacturer suggests to install it into the right half. And then you join two halves together in order to get the fuselage ready to be painted. Here we install the top wing section. Actually that's the only wing in this aircraft. You also continue with the canopy, tail wings installed here and don't forget about this uh, rear wall which will be installed into the wing here. And now we have quite an interesting options. That's what I was mentioning when we were talking about this uh, card. As you can see you can assemble landing setting or takeoff setting. Those are different because you have this key deployed for the landing and you have the wheels on the aircraft for the takeoff so it will be up to you which one you will replicate but uh, both should look quite interesting so take your time and decide which option you would like to see on your aircraft here we have also the finished picture or finished uh, picture of the finished aircraft 
Here we have also 148 scale plastic kits from Brand Gun. Some of them were reviewed in our YouTube channel, so I would recommend to check them. This one was even assembled, so you can find the build review and build article on our website. Here we have the 172nd scale kits. These are also quite nice. Again, we have a lot of video reviews with these models. I recommend to check them. And now we can talk also about this mask set. So, as I said before, it will be sold separately. You can see the product number is 72179 and that's a canopy mask. Packaging is quite simple, there is nothing special, but we don't need anything special for such product in my opinion. And now let's remove it out of the plastic bag and check it closer. So first of all I would like to show the assembly manual, so actually this is application manual, so here you can see that we have two masks which should be applied on the canopy and you have to do some bending in order to repeat the curvature of this part. And now as for the masks, here they are, these are pre-cut stickers as I said before, I will try to zoom in, now you should be able to see them. So as you can see, these are typical yellow stickers and I hope they will be easy to use, they will be more or less precise in their fitment. So as I said, it is already available together with this kit, so I would rather suggest once again to get them all together. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any new video review. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!